I'm shooting. Hi ladies, it's Tuesday. Um, Marissa, thank you. I know I did well. Danielle, I'm sorry you had such a crappy day. I know how that feels. I've been really wanting to quit my job as well. And I think you guys should move. I do, we've discussed this. I think you should move closer to me. I think we need more girls on the West Coast here because you guys are all... <sighs> need to move, move. It'd be awesome to have you climb in closer. And speaking of that, we are looking at moving to Salem, Oregon. So that's kind of exciting. Anna, yeah. uh, I loved your princess showdown. Hi Susan, you were adorable, loved you too. It was awesome. And I don't know which princess won, but I'm pretty sure Anna, you won the debate. <laughs> Just in general. Uh, I picked the princess showdown because I watched the um, I'm Sarah Snitch and if you go to her, tell her the writer girl sent you definitely and she does princess showdowns and villain showdowns and all types of different ones anyways so my two princesses are my two favorite princesses and that's Pocahontas and Mulan and a little bit of flavor text in grade school I sang colors of the wind and dressed up like Pocahontas oh yeah <laughs> my dad has it on video somewhere <laughs> Uh, but I love Pocahontas because she's not afraid to, you know, explore the new, the new person, John Smith, and kind of figure him out, and the new people, and everyone that's coming in, and isn't afraid to think that everyone can get along, even though, you know, sometimes it can be naive, no matter how Disney tries to spin it. But, you know, just this, this belief that, you know, everything can be fine and people can get along and it can be rainbows and unicorns and whatnot if people just try and see the other side and she's you know very headstrong does her own thing but still listens to things around her but she won't conform and I'm very much of the princesses that don't conform and so that's why I like Pocahontas um some downfalls is you know there's some different things that she is maybe a little naive she's a little young um, she gets into trouble a little too much um, puts her friend in trouble almost you know to cover for her and just kind of goes about things a little bit the wrong way so my other favorite Disney princess is Mulan and it's kind of like the not perfect thing that you said Anna with Ariel and just she's just this klutz but she tries so hard to you know be what she needs to be and whatnot and in the beginning you know she's not conforming to the role in society that she needs to be in and so she you know circumstances she stands up for her family and be the person that becomes her and she finds herself and I love those kinds of princesses where it's just like you know what I'm not gonna go see the matchmaker and dress up all pretty. I'm going to go fight this war. <laughs> and uh, it just isn't, she's not perfect and she's kind of a klutz and I like endearing klutzes. So, and some downfalls would be the fact of she doesn't necessarily go about things the right way either and, but she still finds herself along the way and there is no downfalls with Mulan. I think she wins. Damn you! What? Damn you, damn you! What? <laughs> Why do you think I did this right now? <laughs> my word of the day is anthropology. My challenge for my role is I want to see sidewalk chalk art. I want to see you draw awesome things with sidewalk chalk. Four! Yeah, Marissa.
Rachel, we missed you this week, and I hope we see you tomorrow. And everyone, I'll see you next week.